All right. Um, fuck. Today, uh, today, it's making a video. Uh, the replacement package for the Vaporesso X just came in from China, and um, well, I got just got it dropped off at the front door, and let me show you the uh, the state of the package. Now this is uh, one month. I've been waiting for this since they sent it on November twenty fifth of last year, and it just uh, got here. There, this is the January second of uh, two um, thousand eighteen. Six weeks in delivery. Look at that. Crumple. And uh, let me pause this video and uh, I will unbox this to see the condition, uh, what was like, how it looks inside. Hang on a second. So I mean, I just um, yeah, opened the box there. Um, it was packed in bubble wrap. Uh, inside the box. So I got the package right there. And it came with this uh, tank protector that was on top of the bubble wrap. And uh, let me pause it again uh, to check the uh, contents of the uh, package. So I just removed the, uh, the, the plastic packed layer in there. So this is gonna be the unboxing of it. So basically, I'm pulling the uh, pulling the uh, sleeve to see what's inside of it right now. So I'm unboxing the uh, thing now. Oh, you can see paper wrestle there. That's the uh, sleeve cover. Oh. That must be the charging cable. And uh, just lifting up the, uh, the box. Okay, now we can see the uh, the actual unit there. Um, that's the card for the recommended uh, body juice of the tank. So basically, uh, you see the box right there. Okay, the unit, spare glass, NRG tank, the spare. Uh, Code head from Vaporesso, and uh, so far so good. Uh, it's I don't see any thing wrong with it. So let's uh, pause this video, and I'll be back when I find my batteries to to see if this uh, unit powers up. So hang on a second. So we're uh, going to put some batteries in it now. So basically, um, the back cover comes off. Uh, by this little tab there and it's magnetically held so that comes off so basically I got my uh, 18650 batteries there uh, let's see positive to negative right there and negative end Oh. And okay, the unit fired up uh, automatically. Um, not sure why, but why is it reading 0.99 ohms? It's, it's saying that I have a I have a coil in there. You can see that. Corner is it point? I'm not sure if you can focus on that. Uh, yeah, saying I have a coil in there, but I don't even have a tank fitted in there right now. So, um, three times unlock the three.
Okay, so high voltage. So I'm going through the system menu right now. Um, bit, a little bit um, confusing because I'm not used to uh, touch screen devices. So let's see, like you got the function menu right there. Ah, there it goes, automatic lock. Why is it set like keep on resetting? No, I don't want to go. B this is so confusing. Set my one, two, three. Okay. No. Mode. Voltage. So it's set on the uh, what well, I'm gonna set this on uh, 60 watts right now, and I'm just gonna put a tank on there to see if it fires or if actually does read uh, the ohms on this uh, corridor. So I'm gonna get my other unit, um, you know, my Griffin R25, which I've got set up on my other unit, uh, which is right there. And I'm going to slap this tank on that to see if it works. <sighs> uh, so, one, two, three. Now it is reading, so it's picking up uh, the calls in there at uh, 0.55 ohms. So let's have a look. So far, so good. I'll tell you this this um, automatically uh, automatic lock function on here is um, a little bit annoying because um, you know not only it locks too fast but you don't it gives you uh, like a very narrow window to um, to set um, uh, set your functions on here so basically I am gonna play around with this for a little bit and I'll give you my uh, final opinion once uh, I come back. Uh, so bear with me. Okay, I just checked the unit out. It seems to be working okay, so I'm not really um, too sure. I just gone through some settings in it, you know, set the time and date. Um, you know, the um, you can see there time and date. Uh, um, I'm just going through some pre functions of the this unit um, and, that, um, and um, seems to be working okay for now but uh, let's check out the other contents inside the uh, the box shall we so basically I'm gonna put this down and um, as I was getting the NRG tank out of the um, the box there um, you know this that's the NRG tank that the um, company um, uh, gave. As you see the coil inside the tank is already pre-installed. Um, the cap, I don't know, it's like that's that's a bit stiff. So 
you know, it's a sliding capsule to refute the uh, thing that that's kind of like mm, gnarly. So I don't know, don't know about the sliding cap. So basically, uh, then um, you know, as another thing is if you want to disassemble it to uh, get the the uh, juices to prime the coil is kind of like hard. I'm not too sure, but fucking hell, that's really that is really tight. Oh man, that I don't know what it is. Is is it my fingers that sweaty or I don't know? I just can't seem seem to break this tank open to uh. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, that is really tight. I'm not too sure if I, uh, if it comes like that, but that is really tight on there. So basically, um, probably have to put some juices on there so it doesn't become that tight or something because uh, you can see the uh, the actual chimney and uh, I think I believe that glass bit does come off but I'm not I don't want to put any pressure on uh, that glass bit because it's really like jammed on there so I don't want to um, break it but um and uh, now we come to the uh the bottom assembly coil um wow that is fucking man that is tight on there so that you can see that that's the bottom bottom assembly so that is really fucking hell man how how the hell did they Freaking put that on there. That is, I can't even crank that out to 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 get to the coil. So I probably need some tools with that. I don't know. I don't know. They, man, that is more than fucking finger tight, dude. That's like fucking oh. Oh <sighs> okay. Just managed to uh, get that uh, bottom as the core assembly out. You can see there. That's the uh, bottom juice oil. That's what it looks like with the uh, bottom air, ho air hole feeder right there. So yeah, I'm not. I'm not really too sure on that. On that one, um, you know, I probably have to make another video. Um, to, to get into this one there, but I'm, t I'm telling you that's that's really that's really tight uh, out of the uh, the box right there. So basically, I'm not sure if that's the uh, rubber hoses or whatever, but that is really tight. So put the uh, top assembly back on. So uh, yeah, I gotta make another video on it. Uh, priming and testing this out but I'm not gonna go into it today today was just the um, condition the package came with uh, to see if that unit worked and powered and uh, worked okay but um, there you go so have a good new year have a you know um, good day to you all but uh, I'll see you in my next video when well after a week after when I tested fully. So have a good one.